bones, kind of artificial bones substitute loaded with antibiotics, high dose, and started shortening of the gap. I went in for the operation and they, they chopped it out and it was horrible pain after, terrible. It was just like deadening, a deadening signal to my brain of pain and the worst it had been throughout the whole lot really. And um, they filled the gap with these uh, dissolvable antibiotic balls and I had uh, the frame on and I had to, they, they broke my leg just below my knee and um, I had to pull the frame down a millimetre a day, which was uh, a quarter of a millimetre every six hours. So at six in the morning, 12 o'clock midday, six o'clock at tea time and, and midnight. So I never got rest because I had to be up at midnight to stretch the bone and I had to be up at six in the morning. So I never slept because it hurt that much and just ached and uh, it was horrible. And the bottom part I was shortening as well to try get the two halves to meet quicker so then we could just carry on to get the length back and it took four and a half months to get through that process of a millimetre a day of getting stretched in a torture kind of fashion so that was uh, the, the worst part of everything with my leg, way worse than the original break. You can see that edges of the bone so fracture is already apart and this flaky bits in between this is new bone already and this is where you can see that the gap at the bottom is closing, it's certainly shorter than it was before. Eventually when it had met, he was really happy with it all and he showed me this x-ray and there was just this great big gap from below my knee to down where I'd moved the bone. And 